Do remember to support my Kickstarter. This is the last chance to get one. So, welcome back, guys. This is another day of uh, making comics. I decided to just do a quick little recording and then to speed it up because I didn't want all of my videos to be uh, live recording. And also, I was quite tired today. I put in some extra hours at work. Um, but I will be off on Friday and of course most people are off this Thursday so I'm pushing back my comic updates to probably Thursday evening or Friday uh, midday no I will not be going out for Black Friday um, I will be ordering some stuff online though so hopefully that that's something that uh, that works out for me so anyhow thought I'll just quickly chat about a few new things for me um, as I mentioned at the start of the video I do have a Kickstarter it is ending on Sunday probably not gonna make it but it's not too big of a deal I will have another video that talks about my very first Kickstarter which was a success and then this Kickstarter and just talk about the comparison especially since I am a very small small time small you know not many people know me um, creator I thought it's best to make a video at this point of at this stage of my you know uh, trying to be a, an independent artist for some of you at least I know most of you guys who follow me don't have too big of a following so you understand um, where it's coming from because sometimes I feel like some of the tips and tricks that are posted online are it, it falls into one or two of both camps as someone who has a lot of time to continuously cultivate uh, try to cultivate their tribe and the stuff that they make happens to have somewhat of a tribe or um, have just it's just very passionate or two people who already had some traction and already had a number of followers that follows them so they're able to really maximize their crowdfunding or patreon thing which no I will not be having a patreon at least not for another six months to a year um, maybe even longer because um, I tend to like to work things in bulk but that's that's for that plan um, another plan I'd like to have is after I'm done with the hundred days which I'm at day I'm in the 70s now so probably another 20 videos left I'll probably start making an audio only type uh, video uh, probably some sort of a podcast called diary of a mangaka wannabe it is a revival of an old old blog that I have and sometimes I look back at my old blog and consider the fact that if I had stuck with it you know where would I be right now but I just have some quite a number of creative thoughts um, and I thought that it would be far more beneficial for me to do those recordings so that way you could listen to it perhaps when you're drawing uh, maybe some of you who are old enough or when you're driving um, or just going around doing some chores or whatnot just you don't need to be stuck to the computer just put on some headsets and maybe perhaps learn something so that's that and as I said the updates for part one of chapter two of the comic is coming out this Friday I finally got over where I want um, chapter three to to continue on I decided not to introduce another character I feel I feel sometimes that a lot of show just keeps on introducing characters and just kind of shove it, shoving them in. And with the past story arc that happened with My Hero Academia, it did make me reflect on the kind of stories that I am creating. Um, so I'm not going to introduce a new character. I'm most certainly probably going to do a one-off type chapter where you don't have to read the chapter but if you want to understand more of the world that this character is currently living in and what he has to interact with to develop the characters that you already see in the comic uh, that's what chapter three will be which makes me think about chapter four another thing is I have a few I have one light novel that's already published on Amazon um, I'm going to go ahead and check out a writing studio to help get some feedback on it so I can get on to book two. Um, 
but with that hopefully i've already posted it to my mailing list but i'll probably repost it um next year so if you want to get onto like my mailing list for certain exclusive things where i just send out things not only for feedback but just you know it's much easier on my hand and it gives you something a little bit of goodies on your end for having the just something a little exclusive to you guys and maybe an actual reason to open your uh, email box um, I do have a few other stories that I want to get working on so I have let's say the axiom book and then I have the privilege first chapter which I'll probably post that I have another one that I I like to work on and I started working on the main character today because there was a little bit of a, a lull in my day job um, they've been having a lot of like technical issues I don't know what to say about that but um, I have that and I want to start working on some illustrations on that and last but not least I definitely have to say that after October, I've been getting a bit of an itch to actually use traditional media. I have quite a number of markers. I'm tempted to buy more, but I will not because I have quite a number of markers. Um, I got a lot of watercolor uh, supplies, a lot of nice pen and ink supplies, so you might see some more traditional media or sketches or something. I might just fill a sketchbook of all that. But all in all, folks, um, those are my plans, and thank you for visiting me on another video. I'll see you next time and who knows what that might be see you then don't forget to subscribe leave your questions in the comments